the internal brace ligament augmentation repair is performed in conjunction with direct anatomic repair of the spring ligament. The most common indication for the procedure is in conjunction with flexor digitorum longus transfer for posterior tibial tendon dysfunction in the treatment of adult acquired flat foot. The first step of the procedure involves drilling with the 2.7 millimeter drill and tap with the 3.5 millimeter tap in the sustentaculum tali of the calcaneus. It is important to make sure that the drill is angled 15 degrees plantarly to avoid penetration of the subtalar joint. Next, the 3.5 millimeter swivel lock is loaded with the fiber tape and placed in the pre-drilled hole. Next, Overdrilling of the navicular is performed using a Tino reamer if an FDL transfer is taking place. In this scenario, a 5 mm or 5.5 mm reamer is generally suggested based upon the size of the flexor digitorum longus. If this procedure is not being performed with the flexor digitorum longus transfer, then drill with the 3.4 mm drill and tap all the way through the navicular with a 4.75 mm tap. Next, one limb of the fiber tape is taken and passed from dorsal to plantar. And the other limb of the fiber tape is passed from plantar to dorsal. If a flexor digitorum longus transfer is being performed, this is passed in conjunction with the second limb of fiber tape from plantar to dorsal. This recreates the hammock effect of the spring ligament making the two ends of the fiber tape force equal in strength on the navicular. A surgical assistant will hold one limb of the fiber tape under tension from dorsal to plantar and the second limb of the fiber tape in conjunction with the FDL if you are transferring under tension from plantar to dorsal while the surgeon inserts a 4.75 millimeter swivel lock. This swivel lock is being used as an interference screw and the eyelet may be removed in order to obtain fixation. Finally, the remaining tails of the fiber tape and extra limb of the FDL are removed, creating the final construct.